Uh, first of all, let me just say, um, sophomores rock. Y'all are great. Um, but uh, everybody's special at Oglethorpe, but tonight the sophomores are special, and I think this is great. And, and we're here to talk about my hero, Dr. Thornwell Jacobs. Um, born in a snowstorm, 1877, in Clinton, South Carolina. He was born in an orphanage, the Thornwell Orphanage, named after Reverend James Henley Thornwell. And, but uh, his father was president of the orphanage. And uh, Thornwell Jacobs uh, grew up um, in Clinton, South Carolina, but his um, mother, Mary Jane Diller Jacobs, uh, died soon after he was born. And his father was William Plummer Jacobs, who uh, built um, and founded Presbyterian College of South Carolina. And years later, after Thornwell Jacobs who built this campus. He refounded Oglethorpe University, as you know, in 1916, 1835. That was in another location in Milledgeville, Georgia. But uh, it was right around 1917 that Thornwell Jacobs was looking at the uh, diary of his father, William Plummer Jacobs. And he went back to 1877, or soon after that, and he was reading the memoirs of his father, his dad, who was grieving his mother, Mary Jane Diller Jacobs, because she died soon after Thornwell was born. And so he's reading this, and it says, poor little Thornwell, if he had not been born, his mother wouldn't have died. And then it says what's said on this marker, may he, referring to Thornwell Jacobs, may he make noble use of a life purchased at such a price. It reminds me of what we say at Oglethorpe. Make a life, make a living, make a difference. And he really did make a difference. Created a landmark here. And when you graduate, and think back of your days at Oglethorpe University. I hope you'll remember this fine fall night when we established a tradition that we hope that will go on for years. This is our first year in existence, so I'm sure most of you are asking, what exactly is the Jacob Society? Well, the Jacob Society is an amalgamation of sophomore students who have come together to be dedicated to fostering leadership, passion, and ingenuity on our campus. We've decided that we wanted to be like a little brother or sister organization to ODK. And we've decided that there's no point in waiting to foster leadership and start to lead now. We are already in our second year in college, which means we will soon be halfway done with our time here at Oglethorpe University. What I want everyone here to do is to be able to look back on those years and be proud of the things that you did. So if you have an idea that's been tugging at your heart, then express that idea. If there's a movement that you want to be a part of, I encourage everyone to join it. Don't wait for opportunity to present itself. Create an opportunity for yourself to lead and to inspire those around you. When we were discussing things uh, for the sophomore class to, to focus on as part of their Oglethorpe journey, uh, I, I, I asked in a meeting of the Alumni Association uh, what the word sophomore actually means. And it was explained to me that it means wise fool. <laughs> But I am uh, I'm very pleased to say from, uh, from the folks that I've met here today and uh, just, just from hearing Kurt's words that I see a lot more wisdom than I see foolishness. And uh, it's, it's very appropriate to, uh, to see that here as we, uh, as we celebrate the, the legacy of Dr. Thornwell Jacobs. Once you find that thing that fulfills you, Oldsdorf has an abundance of resources to help make those dreams come true. But don't forget about us, your Oglethorpe community. Once you have accomplished your dreams, come back and give back. I invite each of you now and in the future to remember the relationships and memories you are developing now. Answer how can you give back to the place that produced or was the backdrop of so many memories.